what narcissists do every day when they realize their life is getting worse without you. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Are you curious to understand the sequence of events that unfold once a narcissist realizes that their existence is significantly worse without your presence in their life? I will be dissecting this intriguing phenomenon in the forthcoming video, so stay tuned for more. Firstly, let's delve into the complex dynamics that come into play when a narcissist comes to the bitter realization that their life gets worse without you in it. It's somewhat amusing and equally perplexing because, in my journey, I've unfortunately had to face narcissists, both professionally and personally. This has endowed me with a fervent resolve to address this matter. I've encountered them during my career in law and, more personally, in my own life. This first-hand experience has made me acutely aware of the pandemonium, distress, and turmoil they instigate. Now, let's consider the paradox that is the narcissist. They belittle you continuously, perpetrating a myriad of atrocious acts against you. They play damaging mind games, resort to passive aggressiveness, and even outright aggression. All the while, you find yourself desperately trying to escape their clutches in a bid to salvage your sanity and protect your spirit. Then, in an ironic twist, they wonder why you left. They come to the stark realization that they can't actually survive without you and that they need you back. So, what exactly happens when they realize that life gets worse without you? Before we proceed further, I want to underscore one crucial point, do not return to them. If you have managed to secure your escape, your golden ticket to freedom, and they have finally given you a reprieve, express your gratitude and never look back. Their presence in your life should not be welcomed back. Despite their assertions, they remain unchanged. So, resist the urge to return to them. Let me emphasize this right at the beginning, they have not altered their ways. No matter what they might say or do to convince you otherwise, they will not change. It's essential to recognize this and let it be, alright? So, let's consider what has transpired. You've left their life. There's no prospect of you returning. They realize you're not casting any longing glances backward. You've effectively purged them from the central processing unit of your life, an action that I consistently advise. By doing so, you've essentially cut off their lifeline. You've starved them of their sustenance. This is what we refer to as the narcissistic supply. They crave an unending stream of this supply to feel valued, validated, and essentially, to feel alive. If they can't derive it from you in the form of admiration, through your actions that serve their interests, by enhancing their image, or any FORM of value, they will attempt to extract it by belittling you, demeaning you, and treating you poorly. They derive a perverse sense of satisfaction from this behavior. Hence, when they realize that you're not returning and their supply source has evaporated, they will traverse through a series of stages. These stages resemble those of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, and perhaps acceptance. However, complete acceptance is something they may never truly arrive at. I once heard a description that likened their behavior to individuals who stockpile jam or other preserves for the winter. Just as these people hoard their jams, jellies, and sauces, the narcissist too stores their sources of supply. They may have one source over here, but they also yearn for the supply from over there and another source from yet another place. They are indeed supply hoarders. They harbor the hope that you'll continue to be a source of supply for them. If not to inflate their ego, then at least to push you around, manipulate you, and inflict distress, trauma, and chaos upon you. Here's the crux, they wholly took your presence for granted while you were around. They treated you poorly, deriving amusement from getting away with their actions, all the while presuming that you'd always be there. They assumed that you'd continue to tolerate their behavior. I sincerely believe they lack the capacity to consider the consequences of their actions. They don't anticipate that their treatment might eventually make you decide not to stick around. There exists another paradox in the complex dynamics of a narcissist's behavior, which is their profound fear of abandonment. They dread the thought of being left alone. They don't want you to actually depart from their life. At times, they do experience a collapse, which is far from a pleasant sight. I've covered this topic in one of my previous videos titled What Happens When a Narcissist Collapses, so I'd recommend checking that out for further insight. 
The paradox lies in the fact that while they fear being abandoned, they also engage in behaviors that push people away. Once you do leave, their initial response is to rally their flying monkeys. They attempt to involve others in the situation, trying to create a triangulated dynamic because they still derive narcissistic supply from all this drama. They take pleasure in demonstrating how they can make you miserable, how they can turn others against you, and how they can incite jealousy. This is how they kickstart their campaign. Following this, their next course of action is to retaliate against you. Their suppressed rage surfaces, and they might resort to incessant phone calls or text messages, flooding you with communication in an attempt to regain control. They could even resort to stalking you. In their desperate attempts to reel you back in, they might use tactics like love bombing or hoovering. As I mentioned earlier, they want to maintain all forms of supply, and they'll strategize to ensnare you back into their web. They might even go to the extent of filing lawsuits to command your attention, to intimidate you. Their underlying message being, you're not going to escape from me that easily. Now, it would be worthwhile to watch my video on what happens when you go silent on a narcissist for a deeper understanding of this aspect. However, eventually, they do come to the realization that you're not returning. This realization often triggers a slew of reactions, each more desperate than the last. The narcissist, now deprived of their source of narcissistic supply, must scramble to find an alternative source. This desperate search for a new source, coupled with the fact that they've lost control over you, often leads to an increase in erratic and aggressive behavior. In their quest to regain control and find a new source of supply, they may go to great lengths, even resorting to lies and manipulation, to paint themselves as the victim and you as the villain. But as the days pass and you continue to maintain your distance, they're forced to confront the reality that you're not coming back. This is the point where they must face their greatest fear, abandonment. This is the juncture where they begin to flounder. They won't be consumed with remorse for the harm they inflicted upon you, but rather, they'll experience self-pity. This is because they'll come to realize how much they valued the support you provided. They were dependent on it. They relied on your emotional support, your hard work that often benefited them, and your ability to enhance their image. They also cherished the various contributions you made to their life, whether it was monetary, physical, intellectual, or your social standing. Whatever it was that you brought to the table, that's the reason they latched onto you initially. They're going to realize that all of this is now lost, and they're going to be perturbed about it. However, their distress won't stem from missing you as a person, but rather, it will be because they miss the benefits they derived from you. It's important to remember, as I've always said, they didn't attach themselves to you because you lacked value, even though they treated you as such. Instead, they attached themselves to you because you possess significant value. In fact, their realization of your worth might hit them harder once you're no longer there to provide the support and validation they constantly craved. They might even go through a period of grief and anger, not because they miss your presence, but because they miss the benefits and advantages they enjoyed while you were in their life. They might grapple with this reality, going through a range of emotions from anger and frustration to desperation and self-pity. This could lead to further attempts to draw you back into their web of manipulation as they grapple with the loss of a valuable source of narcissistic supply. But remember, their distress is not about losing you, it's about losing what you were providing for them. It's also worth noting that the narcissist's realization of your value might lead them to try and devalue you further in their own minds and to others, as a way to cope with the loss. They might spread rumors, attempt to tarnish your reputation, or engage in other forms of character assassination. This is their way of trying to regain control and suit their bruised ego. But remember, their actions are a reflection of their own insecurities and fears, not a reflection of your worth. What follows next in their behavioral pattern is a prolonged period of observation. They will invariably keep an eye on you. They will perpetually stalk your social media profiles or attempt to discover what you're up to in your life. This behavior, by the way, tends to be incredibly unsettling. If you, too, find this behavior of theirs decidedly creepy, do leave a so creepy in the comments section. It's a known fact that they're always watching you. I've actually produced a video on this very subject, 
exploring why narcissists are always keeping tabs on you and their creepiness in this regard. In time, albeit reluctantly, they may move on. They will set out to find another source of narcissistic supply. Just like a snake slithering in search of its next prey, they need to move on down the road to find another source of supply. This is because their sense of being alive is tied to this supply. If they fail to find another source, they feel lifeless. So, they will go on a quest to find another person to feed their narcissism, but they'll invariably miss the supply they were getting from you, particularly if it was of superior quality. They'll continue their surveillance, comparing their new life situation with yours. They'll be keen to notice if you have something new or better. Narcissists have a penchant for comparison. If you do seem to have something better or grander, it's going to eat at them. They'll be consumed with jealousy. They will detest this shift in balance and stew in their own feelings of inadequacy. However, by this point, their feelings or actions should hold no consequence for you. The moment you stop caring about their opinions, their words, or their actions, you sever the emotional tie that binds you to them. They can sense this change in vibrations. Therefore, it is of utmost importance to completely erase them from the central processing unit of your life. Your indifference to their existence is the key to moving on. Keep walking ahead on your path, never glancing back at the past that once held you captive. Your future lies ahead and it's a future free from their influence. If you found this video informative and engaging, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button, sharing it with others who might benefit from it, and leaving a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the creepiness of narcissistic behavior or any other observations you've made regarding this subject. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so now. By subscribing and clicking on the notification bell, you'll receive updates whenever I post a new video. This way, you'll never miss out on any insights I share about dealing with narcissists and negotiating your way to a better life. Remember, every day presents a fresh opportunity to take steps towards negotiating your best life. Your journey to a healthier, happier life is just beginning, and I'm here to guide and support you through this process. I look forward to sharing more insights and strategies in my upcoming videos. See you then.